election, of course, has national implications. It's being closely followed by the national media. And for more on tonight's results and those implications, we are joined by KDKA political editor John Delano and CBS News chief congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes. Thanks for joining us tonight. John, let's start with you. Let's talk about what's going on right now and these absentee ballots and this race that is just too close to call right now. Are we going to know who wins tonight? Well, we're not going to know the official count because it takes a week or so to get that. But we will know an unofficial result, I think. I've spoken with, uh, tweeted and texted with both the chief executive of Allegheny County, who reports some 4,200 absentee ballots are out there. We understand from Chris Saliza, uh, who is the political person at CNN, that some of those votes have come in and that they're showing a, a lead for by about 700 plus votes for Connor Lamb out of Allegheny County. Gina Cirilli, who is the chairman of the Board of Commissioners in Westmoreland County, tells me 1,800 absentee ballots are due from that county, and we're still waiting to hear where those votes are going to go. Westmoreland County has been strong for Rick Saccone. Allegheny County has been strong for Connor Lamb. This thing is up in the air, and we're not going to know right away. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Nancy Cordes, let me bring you, bring you in now. Some are saying that just the fact that the race is turning out to be this close is a defeat for the Republicans because we're talking about a district that the president carried by 20 points. What do you make of that argument? Sure, and this raises some real questions about which districts this fall in midterm elections the president will be able to help in and where he hurts. I've been keeping track all evening, touching base with a top GOP operative in Washington who has been very involved in this race from the outside, and he has really been ping-ponging back and forth just like the rest of us as we watch these results come in. Earlier in the night, he was very pessimistic. He said that their overnight GOP data had showed that Saccone was trailing Lamb by anywhere from three to seven points. They didn't see how he could pull it out. Then a little bit later in the evening, as things got closer, he said, well, probably we're still going to come up just short. And a short time ago, I texted with him again. He said, well, now it looks like perhaps we'll be up overnight. And I said, well, were you messing with me before? Are you messing with me now? And he said, no, uh, I promise you, I wasn't messing with you either time. We're just as surprised by these results as anybody else. So uh, it's so close to call that even the people who have been crunching these numbers from the beginning aren't sure which way it's going to go. And our elections director at CBS News, Anthony Salvanto, says what I'm sure uh, you've concluded at this point uh, as well, which is that this is all going to come down to the absentee ballots. All right, Nancy, thanks for that. John, this question is for you. This should have been a slam dunk for Saccone. Trump easily won this district back in 2016. What is going on tonight? Well, what's going on is that the one county in this region that supported Hillary Clinton, Allegheny County, all the other counties voted for Donald Trump, but Allegheny County is coming through loud and clear for Connor Lamb, not by the margins that they had hoped, but by at least 15, 16 points, and that's been enough to give him a lead or at least a slight lead. The other counties, Westmoreland County, Washington County, Green County, strong Trump Democrats there. Well, they're coming out, they're supporting Saccone, but not by the margins that they supported Donald Trump. So that's why this is a neck and neck race. There's no doubt that the Trump voter has been helping Saccone, but maybe not by quite the numbers that the Republicans had hoped. And Nancy Cordes, if you're a Republican uh, or a Republican member of Congress running for re-election in the midterms later this year, what message do you take just from the fact that this race is as close as it is, no matter who ends up winning? I think there are a couple of lessons. First of all, outside money helps, but it can't do everything. National Republican groups spent $10 million in this race. It doesn't appear to have helped very much. And the arguments that they made didn't seem to make much of a difference either, claiming that Connor Lamb was uh, basically Nancy Pelosi's puppet or that uh, he was a big supporter of sanctuary cities. Uh, the evidence just wasn't there to back those arguments up, and it seems as if they landed uh, with a thud here in Pennsylvania's 18th district, especially because uh, it's always difficult to pin arguments like that on someone who has never held elective office, especially not at the national level. All right, Nancy, your insight on this race tonight. Thank you. And thanks to our political editor, John Delano, as well.